What's up, everybody? Doc Dark on A5. There's levels to this. Let's just r- jump right into it. Xbox Core. Trash. <laughs> I mean, boy, I, I get it. I get Microsoft is uh, on a high horse. There was a whole bunch of good news. They figured they could just slip this in there and people wouldn't notice this BS. But this is this is this is not good. This is not good. Let me tell you how I see it from my perspective, okay? Actually, if you don't see it from my perspective, you're just plain wrong, okay? This is more proof that the console gamer for Xbox is the low-class citizen. Point blank. So, (laughs) Game Pass Core doesn't change anything If you have Game Pass Gold, right, it's pretty much the same thing. Okay, they even mentioned that if you have games from Game Pass Gold, you still get to keep those games. Okay, perfect, beautiful. All right. So if you have Game Pass, if you have uh, Xbox Gold, Game Pass Core is the exact same thing. If you have Game Pass Ultimate, then you're still pretty much the same thing, right? Game Pass Ultimate. The problem is what's in between. You have Game Pass console and you have Game Pass PC. And that's where this really, that's where this really matters, okay? If you have Game Pass console, as of right now, the way it looks like, you go to the Microsoft website and see the charts, okay? It looks like Game Pass console is not going to have online. So you're going to get access to Game Pass console, okay? You won't get access to EA, okay? But you'll have access to day and day as well and the library of games. And that's pretty much it. Now, if you have Game Pass PC, it's a dollar cheaper. Listen to this. It's a dollar cheaper than Game Pass console already letting you know that they care more about the PC gamer. Why wouldn't they make it the same price? Okay. It's cheaper than, than, than Game Pass uh, a console. You still get the day and date games. Okay. You're still going to have hundreds of games that are on the, on the Game Pass catalog. You also get EA Play. And because, listen to this, because it's, um, what's, what's the word I'm looking for? On PC, you don't have to play, pay for online anyways. That's, that's huge. It's cheaper and you get more. If you're a PC gamer, if you are an Xbox PC, which doesn't even make sense, you PC gamers are getting more, okay? Now, if you have Game Pass Ultimate, the only thing you get over PC, I mean, obviously, you get all the perks from the console as well. You can play online with the console, right? And you get cloud. That's the only difference. I don't know... Xbox is making it so, so very clear. This is a message Xbox has given us, okay? Play on console if you have to. If you have to play on console. We're sorry that we sold you a Series X. We're sorry about that. You should probably get a PC because it's going to be better to play on PC. It's going to be a better deal to play on PC. Listen, guys, you got <laughs> since since the beginning of, of my YouTube journey, I've been praising Game Pass to the high heavens. OK, and I've been accused of being part of the of the crowd that's killing Xbox because we, we champion Game Pass so much. But I still stand by what I say. If you have an Xbox without Game Pass, I don't know what you're doing. But what Microsoft is doing right now is that it's making it really difficult to even defend Game Pass on the console. They want you to automatic because when you're looking at all the deals, right, it makes sense to just go ahead and get ultimate, regardless as to whether or not you have a PC. Now, for someone like me, even though I have a, a, a PC, but it's only got a 1660 Ti, the Asus Rogue Ally is the only thing that right now justifies me having Game Pass Ultimate because I do download games on the the Asus Rogue Ally and I am playing, for instance, I played Atomic Heart both on my console and on the Asus Rogue Ally. 
I'm playing, um, I play Trek to Yoming on both the console and on Aces Rogue Ally. And right now I'm playing Ghostwire Tokyo on both. So I'm using, I'm using the $15, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm using the $16, wh wh whatever it is. I'm, I'm using Ultimate, okay? But for anybody else out there, if you just get Core to play online and then you get Game Pass console, so you have Game Pass as well, you might as well, it's going to be more expensive to have both of those subscription services than it is to just have Ultimate. Now, Microsoft would have to come out and make it clear, maybe it was a typo, that if you get Game Pass freaking, what's it called, console, you also get the multiplayer. If that's the case, please leave a comment below. Please let us know. Put the link. Put the link so that we can actually go and see that. Because in the chart that I saw, multiplayer wasn't on it for Game Pass console. And that's 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 a problem, okay? Listen, man, I don't know I don't know how else I don't know how else to say this. It's not looking good for the Xbox console gamer. It's it's really not. So I wouldn't recommend you stay with core. I wouldn't recommend you stay with console. Either go the PC route and get yourself a PC and go Game Pass PC. And or get Game Pass Ultimate. But right now, Microsoft is not doing a, a good job of promoting the Xbox console period, especially the Series X. The Series X right now is I'm so disappointed in what Microsoft is doing with this console. I'm extremely disappointed. I hope that in the future, Microsoft proves me wrong. I've said this before and I'm going to say it again. It's not your job. It's not your job and it's not my job. To, or anybody else's job except for Microsoft to prove the value of the Series X. Because right now, it seems like the people that are buying the Series S are getting the better value. Correct me if I'm wrong. Dog Dog 1985, there's levels to this. We out. Peace.